Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here joined today with the commissioner of a brand new football league, one that is different from all the other ones, and one that's going to be taking over the West Coast, none other than Todd Watson, commissioner of the WCAF. Todd, thank you so much for coming on and, uh, and uh, taking some time to talk about this brand new league and adventure that you and a bunch of other people are going on. Hey, Ross, thanks for the time. I really appreciate it. We're excited about it. And I'm excited to be able to get the news out to uh, to not only California, but to the rest of the United States in regards to this new league and, and how we intend to get people excited about arena football again and some additional entertainment opportunities. Exactly. I mean, um, there was arena football, a good amount, and especially some of the territories that you guys are covering as well with uh, the specific city. So it's uh, going to be cool to bring that back. I mean, California has had... Some professional leagues that have come in, come out, um, and so it's a it's a really cool market. There's obviously um, plenty of people that you can reach out to um, just in that location alone. But uh, I think I kind of just want to get into talking about this league because there's a lot of unknowns, at least to the public and to a lot of people, about this. And so one of the biggest questions is that we have a bunch of leagues. We have, of course, the NFL. Um, then we have the XFL that. Supposedly, he's going to be back here in a year or two. Um, haven't heard too much from them, unfortunately. You had the AAF, um, which was in, in and out, and then the CFL. And so now with the WCAF, what kind of makes you different? What is going to set you apart um, from these other football leagues? Well, Ross, what we, what we think we're able to do is provide this value of entertainment that includes football as part of the package but really what i think is going to set us apart is this ability to watch us digitally from anywhere in the world right we've partnered with currently with youtube uh, we're working on creating our own app so you could actually watch it from your device but i think you know one of the challenges with a lot of people being able to watch professional football is you do have the obviously the nfl which is on uh, broadcast tv which is great now, but some of those other leagues, it's very difficult to catch a game unless you're somewhere local to that market. And so we're we're pushing the local market because obviously you have a huge fan base. California is hungry for, for sports. There's a huge market of sports uh, fans out here. And arena football has been missing for a while. There's a couple of teams that have dabbled in it. Uh, we do have semi-pro, which is great. Uh, but as far as WCAF, right, being able to watch it digitally is going to really be our niche. And it's going to give uh, people the opportunity to follow their team, wherever you know, whether it's a, a team in Fresno or a team in San Francisco. But they can follow it while they're on vacation in Hawaii, or you know, if they had to travel and see relatives in Minnesota, right? They can log in, catch our game. They can watch replays. Uh, it's all going to be available digitally. So I think that's one of the things that's really going to set us apart from from the the league. You know, again, not comparative to NFL because mm -hmm. uh, you can pretty much catch an NFL game anywhere. Uh, but for all the other leagues, I think that's going to really what's going to set us apart. And with this being said, as well, kind of picking back, uh, piggybacking off this same topic, uh, why did you um, and maybe some of the other um, uh, founders of this league feel the need uh, to create this and uh, to step into the market here? Well, to be honest with you, you know, we feel that there's a missing piece in California, right? As you said, uh, if we look back, right, we had arena football in California for a while, right? Uh, and this was years ago. And there's been a couple of teams that have really tried to make it work. Uh, but some of the reasons that those leagues aren't around anymore is because there, there weren't a lot of opportunities in California. So our goal, right, um, is to really create a league that we can we, we call it a, a bus league right mm -hmm. if you remember the college days we used to call it a bus league right and so our goal right now really to get this thing grounded is to make sure that we have all of our games here in california so californians have an opportunity for a sports market with football uh, it's fast paced right it's low cost um, so i think that i think to be honest with you i think californians and millennials specifically which is really our target market mm -hmm. are looking for that affordable uh, entertainment package and um where it's not take doesn't take all day right so you can go to a game uh, the expectation where you know we're going to do things that are going to make the game quicker so you can get in out of a game for a relatively low cost and and be done within a couple hours so we think that California is really hungry for that, and um, and we're ready to provide that. I love that. I mean, 
some of these Enfield games you gotta uh, just kind of drag on forever. Um, hopefully, one thing you guys will worry about is officiating and not be like the NFL. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> certainly one thing we don't want to copy there. Um, yeah. And then, and kind of as you mentioned, it, um, and one of the biggest things for football is, of course, is going to be fan engagement because obviously the fans are the ones that drive the league. And so, what are you guys looking forward for uh, for um, to do for fan um, engagement, for community engagement, um, and how are you going to uh, kind of bring the game closer to us? Well, it's interesting you ask, because I was actually just on a call earlier today in regards to that, right? And I can't give you all the details, right? Because everything's, uh, some of this stuff's <laughs> super, super secret sauce, right? So got the classified um, stuff on the folders, the classified, huh? right, yeah. But, but I've known you a long time, so I'm gonna give you a little peek into it, right? <laughs> but, uh, so there are two parts, right? Obviously, uh, you know, no sports team is really existing without their local fan base, mm -hmm. right? So, so we're gonna, you know, we brought in a, a great marketing group that we're building right now that is working on that local fan base, and and so you got, we're gonna have arenas, we're gonna have people there, we're gonna have halftime entertainment shows with up and coming artists, right? Uh, you know, again, millennial focused, but it's really gonna cover the gambit from an entertainment standpoint. So, from a local side. I think we're gonna we're really driving that behavior. Hey, come to the game if you want an in-game experience. It's gonna be a short period of time, so you're not wasting your whole day, and you're gonna get a, a great game of football, and you're gonna get some entertainment out of that. And so that's that that's that in-person feel that really you know we we as sports lovers want to do, right? All of us really mm -hmm. want to be able to go to a game, right? Yes. Uh, but then the other side that we're really doing, which is interesting, is the is the televised or the digital platform that we're creating, right? Uh, we're partnering with uh, some groups that are actually doing it now for the NFL. And what it's going to allow is it's going to allow fan interface digitally with the sportscasters or with the game. And I don't mean that from a control standpoint, because I know there's a league out there and I, I don't remember the acronym for it, but uh, there's the a fan, fan control, control football league. league. Yeah. 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 FCF, I think. Right. Yeah. Um, we don't, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to take away from the integrity of the game mm -hmm. by having that level of interaction, but we're going to have mm -hmm. fan interaction where they can step into a green room and, and, you know, cheer on their favorite team or talk about their favorite player or things along those lines. So we're going to, we're going to incorporate that digital aspect, which I think is really critical to our success in that fan engagement. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, fan control football, definitely a really cool idea in their own right. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. there's a pros to that. There's concept just like every idea. So it's cool. Um, I like the spin that you guys are kind of going off with here. Uh, personally, as a fan, it is um, really nice to, to and I especially like you're saying, if you can't go to the game, you want to kind of replicate that feeling as close as possible. And so actually be able to cheer on your team in, in that sort of facet is uh, definitely one of those ways where where you could bring it on and so i'm just not pointlessly yelling at my um tv there's actually a point <laughs> to yelling at it right agreed yep agreed <laughs> oh man um and then one of the things here of course the fans are one of the huge pieces arguably the most important um, um most important piece of a league but also equally um as important of course is the players the talent and the coaches that that bring up that talent and so what's the experience going to be like uh, as a player and the coach and, and what's the talent pool looking like as well? Well, I think what's, what's neat about California, right? And, and you know, Ross, you know, I know you and I know you're from California, right? Uh, if you look at the California market, uh, the pool of potential players coming out of California is enormous, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's, um, what, and, it's up there with Florida and Texas is the uh, three biggest football schools in, or the biggest football states in the country. Right. I do yeah. believe it's, yeah, one of the top three. Yeah, I think we've, we vacillate between one, two, and three between mm -hmm. those three states, right? Um, so, you know, the, the pool of talent coming out of California is amazing, right? And uh, interesting with, with the pandemic, of course, how it kind of stalled some people. They got an extra year, mm -hmm. things like that. But, but the pool of talent that we have at our hands is, is amazing, right? Uh, currently, you know, we're, we're kind of waiting for those people to get out of the current season. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's going to play well into our 2022 season kickoff. Uh, but we do have a number of players that have, have had successful semi-pro careers. Uh, we have a couple of current players that have played CFL. Um, and um, and they have played arena football league previously. So so our, our talent pool exists from just the vast majority of schools in California that produce 
great athletes, have great programs, whether they're coming directly out of high school. Um, but really, our, our most of our talent's going to come from either two-year colleges where people aren't continuing to a four-year mm-hmm. or to a four-year college where that, that particular athlete didn't have the opportunity to go to the next level. And um, we want to bring be able to bring them in and, and possibly evolve them to go into the NFL. That's our goal, right? But I think our talent pool is is, is going to be top notch, no question, right? Uh, as far as the coaching staff, right? We're we're pulling from a lot of experience. Uh, I have a, a director of football operations that actually has had NFL experience. Uh, he's got a, a arena football experience. He's well tied to a lot of the semi pro teams. And so we're bringing on coaches that have either had had arena experience. Uh, they run coaching programs now where they're tutoring and coaching athletes uh, and working them out. Uh, so that so that talent pool, we're going to pull from all over the nation. I've had applications from uh, Minnesota, from Rhode Island, right? So people are excited about our league. And so I think our coaching talent pool, I think we're going to be able to pull from wherever we want once this thing gets going, uh, once they see how successful we, we're going to become. So you have coaches coming from um, a lot of places. Is that going to be the same thing for the town pool as well? It's a California-based league, but you're going to be looking, um, is it just California-based talent, or are you going to be looking out of state as well? Oh, no, absolutely. We'll get out of state as well. Actually, I believe, uh, uh, don't don't quote me on this, but I think three of our players currently have come from uh, out of state to come back to Cal. They want to play in California. Mm -hmm. They want to be in California. And back to your original question, why California? It's because we're missing, right? It's been missing. And these guys are excited for arena football to come back to California and they're willing to come back and play for us. But yeah, we'll pull from where, you know, our, our reach is going to be far and wide and we're going to, we're going to pull the best athletes to provide the best entertainment as the, and especially as the great, as the league grows and I add teams, I'll need more and more pool. Mm-hmm. And then uh, with, uh, with the, the kind of initial start of the league, how many teams are we looking at right now? And how many teams are we looking to expand towards them in the future? Do we have a idea of that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, so our vision, right, when it started was four teams, right, mm-hmm. and it uh, gives a pretty solid 10-game uh, schedule, if you want, playing between those four teams, uh, um, and that was the original vision. As the pandemic kind of dragged things out, we were already working on two additional expansion teams, which we've actually signed. So currently, we have a six, uh, we have a six-team roster, I'll call it, uh, and we are uh, in the works of adding uh, potentially two more to that. And uh, the goal, the goal would be, you know, again, thinking of it from a from a new startup standpoint, right? I think the eight teams is probably a safe number, mm-hmm. um, and then obviously we look from there uh, to expand to either go with other leagues, you know, uh, grow up and down the West Coast if we move up into uh, different states if we wanted to go that way. But but really, the six we have now is a great starting point. Uh, we're we're working on eight, and there's probably ten. We have two other cities that we're talking to. Uh, as preliminary talks at this point. 10 would be fantastic. Eight is solid and six is easily a, a really great place to start there. You saw the XFL, they they had a lot of success seeing with uh, only eight teams there. You still get plenty of talent um, and a lot of competition between those games and, and plenty of stuff to go off of against with the schedule. So um, that's a really yeah. good position to be in right there. Um, and then Obviously, another aspect to a league is marketing, uh, especially more than uh, now than ever. Now we reach out to the millennials as well as you say your target audience. So digital media, and so what's your focus going to be like there? Um, and what's your biggest goals um, in the digital media realm? Um, and let me clarify: you're talking from a marketing standpoint specifically, marketing standpoint, or as well as just some league outreach as well. How are you guys going to going to use these uh, these outlets to your advantage? Well, and that's that's the the challenge, right? Because uh, mm-hmm. we're kind of we're kind of flipping the page uh, from a uh, traditional uh, what I call paper marketing, right, to to new digital marketing. And mm-hmm. digital marketing is by no means new, but I do believe it's new in this in this arena, right? Mm-hmm. And no no pun intended, right? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, right, we we we're gonna take we're gonna turn the page and say, you know, traditional marketing is, is kind of it's it's great to have there, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I mean, for example, we just did I just did an interview with the, a Bakersfield paper, right? And uh, it, it great exposure, right? Mm-hmm. We need that exposure, but the digital avenues are gonna really be where the bang is for our buck, right? And and we're we're going across all platforms, right? And we're working right now. We just brought in a great digital uh, director of digital marketing, and um, he's building his team now. And we're going to go across all platforms, right? We're going to use Instagram, Twitter, 
um, Twitch, TikTok, you know, any you know, Snapchat at some point. We've got our websites, Facebook, everything that we can. We, you know, we plan to um, utilize that and leverage those channels to our benefit. Uh, you know, one of the things we're working on now is content, right? As you know, anytime you start doing social media or digital marketing, you got to have content, right? Mm -hmm. So that's been one of our, uh, if I say struggles, right, is, is getting content because we don't have a, an actual game footage to share yet. We don't have any of that. Uh, so we're working on content, which is going to be a big piece. And I think once we get that, uh, and once some of these other players get out of their current season and we're going to be able to actually get players in uniforms and, and get them on social media, I think that's where we're going to really start seeing the uptick in involvement from our fan base. Mm -hmm. uh, one question I have following up with that is, what would it take for you uh, to be able to dance on TikTok uh, for the league? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, uh, let's see. I don't know. I have to think of a good number. So many followers. How's that? Right? Hey, or... <laughs> I'll, I'll hold you to that. The second question is, do we have the uniforms yet? If not, do we have the uniform design concepts at, le at least uh, you know, kind of going almost solidified? Yeah, let me finish up your first question first of all. You know me well <laughs> enough, Ross. I'll, I'll do it because I... I'm just a, you know, I'm passionate about this, yes. right? So yes. uh, I, I love it. I, I'll be yes. happy to put on dancing. I'll, I'll, I guarantee you, I can probably get my current staff to do a little shuffle <laughs> if, we, if we need to, right? So hey, try not uh, to I'll hurt yourself. <laughs> I know, right? Well, there's that, right? Um, so to answer your second question, yeah, we are in uh, des uniform design. Um, I actually have mock-ups uh, with the two finals that we have. Uh, uniforms, it's, it's really about trying to, you know, um, keep the keep it interesting, but not be too far fetched, right? Because yeah. um, yep. you want to be engaging, you want the fans to like it, you know, because as any major company, right, we want to be able to sell our merchandise, right? So I want to make uniforms that people are going to buy and, and want to wear and, you know, and support their, their family, or I mean, their friends and their players or their teams, right? Um, so to answer your question, we, I don't have uniforms in hand yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the order is staged and ready to go. It's actually, I'm waiting for a mock-up. Uh, because of the two new teams we added mm -hmm. uh, recently, um, I sent them the artwork. I'm waiting for those mock-ups just to make sure they fit with the design that I chose. If they do fit with that design, then those will be ordered. I'll have them before I know it. That's exciting. I mean, uh, it sounds it sounds almost lame in the, in the scheme of things, but a good uniform really it can make a difference you know something nice and eye-catching with uh some good logos and color schemes on there maybe a, uh, don't know if you're a fan of this i wasn't a huge fan of the atlanta's little gradient color scheme uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll see if you guys have any of those but i'm excited i love the yeah, look no, no. Of, of teams everyone everyone loves a new jersey you know whether yeah. it, it be established teams new teams it's always something that someone looks forward to um absolutely yeah and, and, I'll, and as soon as i get some artwork and an actual our final design you'll be one of the first to get it so you can get it out there on your website. Oh, 100%, I would love to. Uh, man, see, this is what, I love a little insider, uh, inf get the insider <laughs> scoops here, this is perfect. Um, but the kind of last couple things here is, um, uh, I guess one of the things, you're at the, the helm of everything. Uh, of course you have your team here, um, but you personally, I mean, I'm sure you guys have a goals a league, but I wanna see you personally here, what are you looking forward to most this season with the inaugural WCF season? Well, I mean, a, a real basic one is actually getting it kicked off, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like any like any startup company, right? Getting the product on the shelf is really is really what I'm looking forward to, right? I'm a, I mean, uh, I'm a football guy. Mm -hmm. I'm a sports guy, right? Yeah. I, I I I started with soccer, but when I got in high school, they were like, hey, you're big enough, you need to play football. <laughs> I played college ball. I didn't, you know, I didn't have what it took to get to the next level, right? Which is fine, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I love I love sports. I love football. And so for me, I'm just excited to get players on the field, get fan, you know, get fans engaged in the game, having fans at the game, uh, giving players opportunity. You know, maybe one of these guys goes to the NFL, right? I mean, that's exciting to me. So for me, this inaugural season is really about getting the games on the field, getting the getting the kinks worked out, right, so that we can have a successful season, so that we really can then roll into our 2023 season with probable with possible expansion teams but really just getting that interest to where I have more people interested in, in this league than I can make, than I can take care of. Right. And that's really the goal of the, of the 2021 season is to show how well we're developed, how much work we've done to build that grassroots support. Cause that's, what's important. Mm -hmm. 
and really show that, hey, we're, we're a player in this league. You know, we're not, I'm not here to compete with the NFL. I'll tell you that every yeah. day, right? That's not my goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, my goal is to provide a, a great fan experience, a great entertainment, and give these kids or you know, these young men a chance to, uh, you know, show off their skills and potentially make it somewhere else. I love that answer there. Um, and I guess one of the most important things is as a fan, as someone that might want to um, participate in the league um, in other levels as well, in various amounts, is, the biggest question is how can we get involved with WCAF? That's a great question. Well, so, you know, right now, the biggest way you get involved is is to follow us on social media, right? Make sure you go in and look up WCAF. Uh, we've got all six teams have their own handles for all the different um, social media channels. So that's going to be a huge way. Um, get on our website, uh, check for current news, uh, look at player bios. We have what well, the players we have currently is all posted on there. So you can see that information. Uh, we're getting ready to relaunch our ticket sales. We had, we had done a soft launch a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had a get exhibition game planned in September. Uh, but due to the uh, continued pandemic crisis, um, we had to postpone that game. Uh, we're looking currently to have that game rescheduled for either uh, mid to uh, mid November or mid December. So that's coming. And I'll, mm-hmm. again, I'll get that to you as soon as I have that date once it's scheduled. Um, but as far as engagement get, go in, uh, there's packages. We do have some merchandise available already in, in regards to hats, some of the slingbacks. Uh, we have pins, uh, we have uh, branded. Um, uh, Bluetooth speakers available. So uh, that's, yeah, it's pretty neat, right? So all through the packages, we have current package deals where you buy the exhibition game ticket and you're able to get some of this branded merchandise as well. So one of the best ways you can support us right now is to do that. And then obviously if you've got, if you're a player out there and you're looking to get involved in arena football, uh, you know, get a hold of us, right? Uh, send us a message, uh, give me a call, right? Whatever you need to do. Uh, Cause right now we're, we're just building it, but, but get engaged socially and uh, go in and buy tickets from us. Of course. And let's get in the, um, other more information here is, uh, do we have a, at least an estimate of, uh, of when we're trying to start, um, have kickoff of the regular season, and how will we be able to watch these games as well? So the, uh, the regular season, we don't actually have a kickoff date, but currently the season is slated to begin in May of 22 and it will run through July, uh, roughly, of 22. That's the current scheduled season. That could shift one way or the other, obviously, depending on arena availability and those things, right? Uh, we do have those contracts signed, so it's just a matter of letting the pandemic hopefully work its way out and uh, and getting those dates solidified with that. Um, as far as being able to watch it, you will be able to attend in person. Uh, obviously, that's the, that's the one way for local fans to go. But more importantly, I think the best way to watch it is going to be digitally. And we have partnered with YouTube right now. We do have a YouTube channel. Uh, there's no content. Uh, let me rephrase that. There's a couple of combine post videos posted on that channel. If you want to go check it out now. Uh, but as far as watching the games, it will be through the YouTube channel at this point. And there will be an announcement with this organization that we're partnering with now. Uh, they will have a separate channel that we'll work through uh, that you'll be able to watch it on, on as well. And we'll announce that on social media and our web page as soon as we possibly can. Fantastic. And man, this whole thing is, I mean, I love football. Obviously, everyone that watches this sh- channel knows that I love football. I love, I mean, whether it be the XFL, still the Houston Roughnecks on Crown XFL champs, um, the um, NFL, of course, Australian football. I know it's different football there, but I guess arena football is a little different football in the same sense, too. So I'm never going to complain with more leagues. That's just more fun. <laughs> and so I'm really looking forward to this, Todd. And uh, thank you so much uh, for taking your time to uh, get on this. I know it's, it's a super busy schedule with, you know, trying to start a brand new football league. So I do appreciate this. And um, it was fantastic to be able to talk, uh, talk about this. Hey, Ross, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. And really, you know, get those fans engaged, excited. And I'm open, right? Uh, again, uh, anyone that knows me, ask a question right uh give me a holler shoot me a dm whatever you need to do uh let's get the let's get this thing going and get people excited about more football and before i kept things off of course uh social media we talked about all that and what better guy uh, to list off everything uh, that we need to know for in terms of league outreach whether it comes to social media platforms or websites than one of the heads of marketing over with the wcaf blaine watson um so blaine come on here and uh like, list off, where can we find all this fun stuff? Pardon me? Where can we find all this fun stuff? 
Uh, you got a lot of stuff. If you're like me, you got 20 different social media things on your phone that you don't know how to work half. <laughs> but I'm going to make it easy for you. Um, a lot of our teams use Twitter. Personally, that's what I'm most fluent with. So that is where I'm going to give you each handle verbally. I'm sure Ross can post the rest of the handles on Instagram, Facebook, right. on his link, or however he posts it here. I'm going to give you the six teams, the official league uh, Twitter, the website, and the YouTube. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the voice to say everything forever. We be okay. Of course, everything will be linked, whether on YouTube, it'll be in the description. It will be linked on our socials, Twitter and Instagram. And um, we'll put in the, the description over on Apple Pod Podcast Spot by wherever you get your podcast from as well. So it's easy to click on things. We'll, we'll have it clickable instead of having to type in everything because I know that could be a pain. <laughs> All right, yep, but I will give you the few. So the main ones, if you want to follow the league, see major updates. Uh, on Twitter, it's WCAF underscore league. That's going to be the main place. It's going to repost all the big news, um, all the big posts, all the updates. The same on Instagram, it's WCAF underscore official. These are both the official pages run in a totality of all the teams, so you'll see the major news there. Now, if you want to find out how to follow your local team and how to get involved with them, I have the handles here. I'm going to name the team as well as their Twitter handle. Their Instagram is posted on, my, on that, um, and you can find it on the official website as well. When the official, official website is wcafpro.wixsite.com. Uh, for Twitter, I, there's six teams, so here's six ads. First is the San Francisco Disruptors. At, it's going to be at SF Disruptors. The Stockton Scorpions is at Stockton Scorpi, S-C-O-R-P-I, the number one. The Bakersfield Pantheons is at B Pantheons. Fresno Fog is the simplest one, at Fresno Fog. Reno Rhinos, at Reno underscore Rhinos. And the Anaheim Orcas is at Anaheim Orca, singular, no S at the end. So follow those on Twitter. Everything will be posted on there to follow their Instagram, as well as find your way to the Blast Athletic website, which is where we do our ticket sales. All right, perfect. Well, you heard there, folks, everyone. I mean, just go ahead, follow all that stuff, and like I said, everything will be linked for ease of access because uh, I know typing's hard, memory's hard. Let's go ahead and just uh, get some clickable things there um, just to make it that much more convenient. But Mr. Watson, uh, uh, Todd, and Blaine, um, the two great guys at the head uh, of this league, and they're the, um, some of the people, of course, Todd, and uh, he's going to be leading the way here, and, and Blaine's going to be the man behind a lot of the marketing that you see. And so go ahead and uh, really appreciate the time that you gentlemen took out today. And, uh, hey, uh, I'm, I might have to – all right, I'll do this. I'll do this live right here. I'll commit to a team. Before we even have the, the league started, let's go Scorpions. Let's go Scorpions. <laughs> you going to put money on that? Hey, I'll, uh, I'll throw a oh, man, I'll throw a fiver on, on the Scorpions, okay? I'm going to wait for the exhibition game, and I'll put some money behind that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, of course, we can't have Todd uh, taking, taking bets on the teams. <laughs> I, I got, I, I, I'm going to be out of that one, man. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. But thank you guys so much for coming on. And uh, I can't wait for the start of this league. And, of course, we're, we're going to be sharing everything in the lead-up to this. So just keep her tuned. Stay tuned. Um, anything you can find, all of our stuff here, um, at Fourth and Long, as well as at the Fourth and Long dot com, uh, we'll be posting their updates regularly. As soon as I get them, they will be posted. And so go ahead and get the excitement building because this is going to be a really fun thing. This is going to be a really fun adventure. And what better way to, to, I mean, be a fan than to be a fan from the very beginning of a league? So you're going to want to stick around for this. You're going to want to watch. Uh, for this and you're going to want to be a part of this fantastic opportunity that we have ahead of, of all of us here.